I was diagnosed with lupus uh, a little bit over 13 years ago, almost 14 years ago, um, and I had a rash on my foot, it was my right foot, and it was uh, about this big, and um, I was pretty healthy. Um, I was a lot heavier then, but I was healthy, and um, it was on the right side of my foot and on the top, but on the top of the right foot, and I noticed that it wasn't really itching, but that it would like move, meaning that every couple of weeks it would seem like it was either you know going over but it wasn't getting bigger and i went to the doctors because i have a history of sarcoidosis in my family cancer lupus and i wanted to actually see what it was and they found that i had what's called the lupus anticoagulant but i didn't have lupus they ruled out lupus uh right after that i was diagnosed with something called discoid lupus which is the um effect that lupus has on the skin and then because I was pregnant at the time, I couldn't undergo a lot of uh, medications like prednisone and different things they didn't want to give me because I was a very high risk pregnancy. So after uh, I gave birth, then that's when I had a full on exacerbation of lupus where I uh, had fatigue, I was passing out. Um, I was having problems with my mouth. My skin began to scale and it just happened in the months after um, I had had my son. And what happened was I began to notice that um, I was feeling tired all the time. And at the time I was working a lot. I mean, long days, I was running companies, I was working for a company, I was very busy and I was a mom. And I, I attributed to that, but what I didn't realize is that lupus was running rampant in my body and I was having what was called a flare up. So I had my son, I had an exacerbation, which was an outbreak in my body and that a flare up. And during my flare up, my joints were swelling, my hands were kind of uh, curled a little bit like when people have um, arthritis and then I was having issues walking. So at that time I was put on a low dosage of prednisone. Um, it did seem to help, however I had what was called a TIA, which is a minor stroke um, at the time. And then I stopped the meds. And at that time I decided that I would no longer take medications. I didn't want to take medications. I wanted to do everything holistically. And so I started doing a lot of supplements. Uh, I was more so just really into just being a vegetarian and eating right, exercising, so on and so forth. And then I was good for a couple of years. Well, for several years, actually, I didn't have a lot of flare ups. Sometimes I would have some swelling in my feet and in my knees, but it wasn't as bad. Uh, I've never had an outbreak as bad as I'm having now, a flare up, a relapse. And so as years went on, um, what I realized is that I was having issues with my motor skills, issues with my eyes, and I began to do a lot of the holistic treatments of the natural supplements that I must have become immune to because they were no longer working. And um, then it brings us to 2015, where um, I have been nominated Woman of the Year by the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. And they found um, after I did this 24 hour walk out of nine, cause I was so, work out of nine, I was so like into like fitness and health and different things like that. And I wanna talk, and I'm gonna share my story too. I would like to share my story about how I became a marathoner. But uh, getting back to that time when I was, they found this lesion on my back that was about this big, my massage therapist found it. And uh, she hadn't seen it there before. She said, you need to get it checked out. And at the time, I was just a pump. The adrenaline was going. I had just finished this workout a thon. I wasn't thinking that, okay, I could be getting sick. So I called my doctor that night and um, she said, go into the ER so they can take a look at it because it could be, um, you, you could be bleeding under the skin. You could be hemorrhaging. We didn't know at that time. So I did go in and when they tested me, they found that the pathology found that I had leukemic cells, which means that there could be leukemia in my body. However, that they needed to do more testing. Well, at that time, when they found that, I didn't realize it, but that the lupus that I have was throwing my blood tests off. And so what it means is that sometimes you have false positives or a false negative. That means that they need to do a series of tests to find out what's going on. So over the, the weeks and the months after that, we came to find out that it wasn't leukemia, thankfully. Um, but although I did undergo uh, 
a low dose chemo for two days at that time and then on prednisone they found that I was in a full-blown relapse and that my kidneys were failing and that lupus it was a lupus nef nephritis and I began to just have problems. I began to um, have issues and pains with, in my side of my kidneys. And then I had minor strokes back to back. Now this was in 2015, this was last year. Um, and it was around May, I believe. So I got, started getting sick in March, but I noticed it in December of 2014. And then the months after that, I, I began to notice things, things were more noticeable. And then in May is when I had my minor strokes. And so uh, after that prednisone, low dose chemotherapy, uh, it was like a downward spiral in my health. Um, it was times that my uh, rheumatologist was saying that you'll be in a wheelchair probably in the next two months or so because of how my body was reacting and, and what was going on with me. Um, I had to get something called plasma phoresis because my platelets kept dropping. Every time I went to the doctor, my platelets would be at anywhere between 20,000 and 40, and they should be around 360,000, and that's very low. My iron was low. Um, I had protein in my urine, blood in my urine. My kidneys were swelling, then my stomach start swelling, and then between um, March of last year, no, May of last year, and, and um, this year, this time I've gained 52 pounds. Because of the prednisone.